Hey everyone, I'm Detective Kylie, and this is Tabletop Mysteries, where the clues are right under your nose. And today, we're getting artsy fartsy. My art teacher, Mr. Spot, claimed she found an original artwork by the famous painter Thelonious Smudge. However, the music teacher, Mr. Klang, claims it's a fake. Klang says there is a legend that says all of Smudge's work was burnt up in a fire ignited by his rival, Ebenezer Splotch. So is this painting a fake or the real deal? We're going to solve this mystery right now. Let's inspect the evidence. Exhibit A, the painting of Sergeant York's boat. Who was Sergeant York? Hey phone, who was Sergeant York? This is what I found. He was the greatest American hero of World War I. Great. Learning. Let's take a closer look at the painting. There's a plaque that says, Sergeant York, the hero of World War I. Exhibit B, the Certificate of Authenticity. I can see by the torn piece of tape that it was attached to the canvas. This document proves that Thelonious Smudge painted this painting in May of 1920 in New York City. Exhibit C, Mr. Spot's Painter's Palette. Hmm. Looks like she's been busy. Not unusual. Green, brown, blue, red. These colors are similar to the one in the painting. Now that's unusual. Exhibit D, Mr. Klang's book, Splotch vs. Smudge. The story of how all of Smudge's artwork got burnt in a fire in the 30s. That's weirdly specific. This is Mr. Klang's book that he says proves that the painting is a fake. Mr. Klang, why do you care so much about art anyway? Shouldn't you be worried about some music mystery? I could probably think of one with a missing piano, or... Oh, I'm getting off track. Okay, we've got all the evidence we need. Now let's see if this painting is a fake. First, Mr. Klang thinks that his book proves the painting is a fake. And who knows, maybe it does. But I could solve it without reading the book. Take that homework. Next, the paint on the palette does match the colors of the painting, but that does not necessarily mean it's a fake. A lot of artists use red, brown, green, and blue. Let's look at the certificate again. The document does seem legitimate, and 1920 is when Smudge is making his paintings, but the book said he lost all his art in a fire in the 30s. So it seems like this couldn't be a Smudge original, but Mr. Spot said, not all the paintings were burnt up in the fire. This one is priceless. That's exactly how she sounds. Believe me. The portrait itself could reveal whether or not it's the real deal. Let's see. Sergeant York, his boat, World War I. It all adds up. Wait, it says World War I. That's it. See, it would just be called the World War. If this painting was made in 1920, it wouldn't say World War I. That means this painting was painted after World War II, which means the painting's a fake. I'm actually quite impressed with Mr. Spot. She was able to paint a fake Thelonious Smudge painting so well. However, maybe she should have brushed up on her history. Case closed. That's another mystery off my table. You know, I'm not a half bad painter myself. It's a self-portrait. I call it the Master Detective. It's good, right? You don't have to answer. I know it's good. <sighs> Click here to see another tabletop mystery. Since this one is a tabletop history, <laughs> why did I think of that one earlier? That's good.